Hi, so I got a new request on my Instagram to make a video on how to learn words in a better way. So if you haven't watched my first video, which was on how to learn more than 50 words a day for Ziyari, go watch that first. I'll link it down in the description below. And now let me give you some advanced tricks and tips that I use to learn words in a better way. Now, 90% of you are making this mistake while you're learning words. You are not writing them down. It's really, really important to write the words down if you want to learn them. Like, for example, I have these notebooks in front of me. I had more than three notebooks which were filled with words. Alright? I'm a person who learned more than 3,500 words for the GRE. Uh, so this comes from a lot of experience and I will give you the perfect trip, tricks and trips that will make you and help you score high. Now, first of all, make one copy today, one notebook to st and start writing words in them. All right. Now, how do you write down these words? Now there are different styles which you can use to write these words down. The first style which I used to use was as you can see on the screen, I used to take up a single page. I used to write some words down in a group of cluster, in a group of cluster, and then I used to write the meaning on the next page. So, for example, I saw the first word that is jingo. I will think for 15 seconds if I know its meaning or not. If I don't, I will turn over to the next page, see its meaning, and move on to the next word. This was this is one style. The second style is uh, you write the word next to its meaning. Now, first 20 days I used the first style and then I shifted to this style because I liked this way better and it was much more efficient for me. Now you can take up any style you want, the former or the latter, whichever does the job for you. Now the next step, whenever you encounter a synonym of a word, write it next to that word. As you can see on the screen right now, whenever I used to see a, a synonym, I used to write it down next to the previous word which I had already learned if I encounter any. So this is another tip. Now this next tip is the key tip of the video. Don't forget to revise. But how do you revise? Do you revise once a week, once in three days, once in four days? I'll tell you my plan. What I used to do was I used to revise every three days. I used to remember and revise each and every word that I learned from the beginning of time, from the beginning of when I started preparing to the end, to that day, how many, how much ever words I learned. There was a point in time when I was revising more than 3000 words and it used to take me around three to four hours a day to revise. All right. So make up a plan right now that you will revise all the words that you started writing from the beginning of your preparation till the end on the third day on or every fourth day so every three or four days take up the book take up your notebooks once and revise all the words from the beginning and that will go a long way and you i promise you you will never forget those words all right next step now when i was learning words in the beginning i did not know of mnemonic dictionary or mnemonics of any sort i was a newbie so what i used to do was i used to take up words i used to write the meanings next to them then i was learning their meanings with the word, right? But the problem was that after learning the four, first 400 words, I was basically cramming everything in my brain. So after learning the first 400 or 500 words, everything started to get saturated. I was not able to learn new words and or I was forgetting the learned words that I learned previously. So that was a big dilemma. I didn't know what to do. So I spent one or two days, I was trying to find out new ways. I found, found out mnemonic dictionary, then I got to know about mnemonics and how to use them. So mnemonics are, for example, I take a word, let's say aversion. Now I'll tell you how to remember it's word mnemonic. By the way, the word's meaning is intense dislike or hatred. So the word mnemonic for this, it is divide the word in two parts, a version. So uh, it means a version. For example, you're You've installed a new software on your laptop and you do not like this version. You have intense dislike towards it. So aversion, you don't like the software's new version. So this is one way to remember the word. This is the word mnemonic. 
for me for my for, i'll give you my perspective i used to remember these word mnemonics much better than i used to remember visual mnemonics for example the visual mnemonic is on the screen right now this is a man that's not like you that is intense dislike which he shows using his expressions so this is one way of re remembering the word aversion i used to use these word mnemonics much more than visual mnemonics because in word mnemonics what i used to do was uh, if the word mnemonics was not available on the mnemonic dictionary.com i used to make up my own mnemonic all right so when you go ahead with these word mnemonics eventually you'll start making up your own word mnemonics for these words and they will help you a lot because you'll be making your own mnemonics and if a person makes their own mnemonics you never forget it that is another tip now you can use visual mnemonics to do what suits you man and if you do not find visual mnemonics anywhere just go to google go to images type the word that you want to search visual mnemonics for you will get it on google it's my promise so these were some of the tips and tricks that you can use to remember the words in a better way and these were all the tips that i used so at some point you will have more than two or three notebooks filled with words when you're preparing for gre so don't be sad about it it's just a part of the struggle it's a lot of struggle to revise them all over again but you will have to if you want to create score or else you will forget the words that you already have revised so these were all the tips and tricks that you can use to learn words in the better way and if you have some points to add please let me know in the comments below and please keep messaging me on instagram with your doubts and i'll make a video on it and please follow me there also say stay subscribed to the channel and i'll see you in the next one